Thank you for tuning in to another installment of There Is No Collapse. This is our fifth part, or the third part of our fifth part. Uh, finishing up now in the whole cryptocurrency space, giving you an understanding of the foundations that have been laid for the New World Order. As far as the global, the global schematic is concerned, for those that are new to this, you're probably wondering what is a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin, which is basically the the grandfather of all these new innovations. Basically, it's a digital currency in which encryption techniques are used to regulate the generation of units of a currency and verify the transfer of funds operating independently of a central bank. So it's an effort to detach oneself from the banking system. That's the first thing to take note of. Furthermore, when we look at the aspects of what a cryptocurrency actually is, it's actually a medium of exchange, okay, using cryptography to secure the transactions and to control the creation of new units. Cryptocurrencies are a subset of alternative currencies, or specifically of digital currencies. Bitcoin is the most famous one. Uh, that became the first decentralized cryptocurrency in 2009. Since then, numerous cryptocurrencies have been created. Uh, these are frequently called altcoins as a blend of Bitcoin alternative. Uh, cryptocurrencies use a decentralized control as opposed to centralized electronic money or centralized banking systems, i.e. the central bank. Uh, the decentralized control is related to the use of Bitcoin blockchain, a transaction database in the role of a distributed ledger. Most cryptocurrencies are designed to gradually decrease production of currency, placing an ultimate cap on the total amount of currency that will ever be in circulation, mimicking precious metals. Now, compared with ordinary currencies held by financial institutions or kept as cash on hand, cryptocurrencies are less susceptible to seizure by law enforcement, per se. Get back to that in a moment. Existing cryptocurrencies are all pseudonyms, though additions such as ZeroCoin and its uh, distributed laundry feature have been suggested which would allow for true anonymity. You know, that's something that people are more comfortable with. You know, we live in a digital age where being autonomous and being able to hide behind things is of great value to most people. Uh, in the U.S., bitcoins are labeled as virtual assets. This type of ambiguous classification puts mounting pressure on law enforcement agencies around the world to adapt to the shifting drug trade of dark markets. Side note. Notice how the foundation has already been laid here. You, you, you've heard that what this feature is. You, you, you get an idea now of why the demand existed for this feature. People want to be, uh, they, they're fighting for their privacy. I'm telling you that the whole creation of Bitcoin is more nefarious purposes, all right, to get you acclimated to the new world order, to the new system of money, to the new system of control mechanisms. See, they have to roll out the problem action solution aspect to all of this there has to be a need created and then once they roll this out then they're going to put measures rolled out to quote unquote protect you protecting you from whom from what from yourself and what's the issue that's been rolled out well you know we're thinking about drug dealing think about that think about what that means we want to regulate the most powerful market in the world that's ever been created. 
and what business might that be what market might that be bigger than the stock market what's bigger than the stock market flowers flowers are the biggest market of all time it all starts with a flower with a plant with a weed that's right something growing out of the ground is deemed more precious a vegetable per se is is what they want to regulate they want to regulate vegetables all right concerns of an unregulated global economy is what they say such as uh, the internet Remember, they're saying oh it's unregulated we want to tax it okay now as the popularity of and the demand for online currencies increases uh, since its inception back in 09 um, the concerns of an unregulated person-to-person -person global economy that the crypto currencies offer has now been deemed a threat to society i.e. a threat to their system of government control concerns abound that altcoins may become tools for anonymous web criminals all right there's something that is they see it as a threat to the establishment anything that's a threat to the establishment must be eliminated cryptocurrency networks display a marked lack of regulation that attracts many users who seek decentralized exchange and use of currency again decentralized exchange is what we're talking about all right detaching oneself from the central bank is considered uh -uh. all right if they can't regulate and tax it it's illegal I don't care what it is that you're doing that's the end of the day that is the sits the situation that is occurring all right now you need to know this part of it too all right there's another aspect here of this the aspect of this is that they want to get everyone acclimated to it so they can then come in and say okay now that you're used to this and you have built up monies and things associated with it and now more more and more businesses are accepting it then that's when they come in they pull the rug from underneath for you and say ha ha there's here's the new use of the technology and now what are you going to do about it all right you need to understand what this is going to be able to do in the beginning you think oh man this is great you know this is you know something that's more libertarian blah 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 but it's not it's actually being rolled out by the by the establishment sort of like the matrix movie just when you thought you woke up out of the matrix no you're still in the matrix the matrix itself made uh, provisions uh, for the idea that people would want to rebel from the system of control so it built another alt system or universe within itself to make people think that they have actually escaped the old, the older system the other system so that's what's going on here getting you used to this new thing because this new thing is much larger and much bigger than what you think it is why do you think that markets can go on uh, ad infinitum as far as their um, pimperation goes and manipulation bond markets currency markets stock markets you name it all the markets can be manipulated and have been manipulated and are being manipulated and it can go on forever well, how do you think it is that they can quote unquote print money indefinitely bailout after bailout how is that even possible it's not even that much money in circulation how can you have a debt that's more than the than, than your your gross national product how can you have a debt that is more than the money that's in circulation how can the exchanges trade more contracts as far as paper contracts go on gold and silver than there is in the ground right now if I have enough money I can go and I can put a uh, an order in right now to buy me I'm just being funny here but let's say a billion contracts of gold well there's not that much gold on the planet but theoretically you could trade it you, you see where this is going it's, it's the fractional reserve currency being applied to the markets all right and it, it's ridiculous but that's where we are now 
now that you know what we are let's move on to how we got here why we got here and where this road actually is going to lead us to and where this leads us to is the following all roads lead to Rome and here's the why this is happening they realized a long time ago that control is going to be of most importance they have to be able to, to protect their profits only way to be able to protect your profits is if you can control the people all right that's what we are they need to control the people so let's move into where that leads and how best to do it JF Kennedy the late JFK once was quoted in saying that for we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covert means for expanding its sphere of influence what better way to expand one's uh, sphere of influence than debt if you owe me then you have now become enslaved to me so they realized that once they got into power talking about the Federal Reserve ie the central banking schematic they realized what better way to keep their power than to actually move forward with a mechanism of control the world runs on two things war and slavery both are fantastic for business there's no two bigger bigger money makers on the planet than slavery and war so how do they propose to go about doing this and capturing as many people as possible and I'm telling you it is through debt 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 and more debt that is how they tend to do it an aspect of a strong creating the stronghold of debt is also through the incremental rollout of new technology when you take a man's job away you take away his ability to not only create wealth for himself but also to provide for himself thus he is now going to have to whore himself out ie slave himself put himself in slavery let's look at what has transpired through technology and we have never even realized that they were using technology as also a way to enslave us and also to get us used to the new debt stronghold first of all look around you at this picture here you see basically an iPhone in the middle okay smartphone in the middle this one device has replaced the cassette tape the Polaroid camera the little transistor radio the paper calendar handheld calculator letter letter writing here's a letter the old-fashioned alarm clock and the rotary dial telephone and this is also inclusive of any kind of um, telephone you know old plug-in-the-wall phone some of you don't even remember some of this technology or never seen or held some of this stuff but this one guy here does the work of all of these guys he's a camera you can listen to radio on him he has a calendar in him a calculator in him mail is in, in him you can send email he has alarms in him you can talk to him and on a, as a phone and you can also listen to music on him and take I mean come on he, he can do it all so this this guy has stolen your job they made you fall in love with this guy while he was yet taking your job 
under the guise of I'm making your life easier and simpler. Don't you like me? Don't you love me? You're going to think, where have you been all my life and what was life like without you? How did I ever get along without you, sir? Not realizing that he was really not your friend. He was basically snuffing these guys one by one, sniping them in the dark. And now that he has taken all these guys out, and only he alone is left, the next target is you. Now he's coming for you. And not only is he going to come for you, but he's also going to control you. Now you can't operate without him. You can't live without him. All right? You cannot operate your life without this device, without this guy here. What does this device represent? The technology. The control grid that has been built right underneath our noses to control us. As you can see, HSBC is cutting senior banking jobs. How is it that they can do that? How can you cut the head? It's a senior banking job. That means someone who's been with the company for a while. Someone who's higher up, like a supervisor, a manager, a director, a vice president, you name it, whatever the title. Fill in the blank. Fill in the spaces. Because your new boss is not the same as the old boss. Your new boss is that little guy, that little iPhone, that little Android device. That new that computer is taking over these jobs. You don't need human beings anymore because the computer doesn't get sick. Although he can catch a virus. Okay? He's not easily swayed by his peers. However, he can be programmed and controlled and hacked into. So he's not perfect either. He's just better than you. As far as the in the eyes of big business. In the eyes of the ruling class. They can do without you now. They no longer need you. Here's what the new technology can do. The FBI blocks info leak of biometric database faces and fingerprints. They have an enormous database of your face, my face, fingerprints, DNA, because everything's been combined into one big database. They've been doing it secretly for decades. Remember I told you a few videos back that this all started in the late 80s with the data entry jobs. We didn't know what we were doing. We were just entering data into a computer database, did not know anything about anything. Little did we know that the nefarious thing behind the fact was that we were putting everything about everything on the computer building a database of knowledge and then they realize that knowledge doesn't have to be limited this knowledge can store everything about everybody someone got the big idea a long time ago that we can actually be God and be God like and be at all places at all times be omnipresent all you need is to have enough cameras enough eyes in the sky uh, to be able to see and to hear everything and then that way you could control everything that's happening on the ground see here it is here the big eye in the sky looking down you can see everything from this vantage point hence the drones that can fly thousands of feet and record you know enormous amounts of things and that's all they do they can map everything to the world uh, a couple years ago they mapped and built a database with um, instructions how to get to everybody's house so pretty much every address in the USA has been mapped so they can get to you anytime they need to get to you. How further are they going to control us? I think George Orwell said it best. Truth, it's the new hate speech. During times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Truth is the new hate speech. If you speak out contrary to any any and I mean any thing that has to do with the government's agenda you will be singled out as a criminal with hate speech and hate crimes you can't speak out against anyone who was politically affiliated and powerful if you do you can be thrown in prison 
All right, hate speech. You can't say anything about anybody at any time without being sued to death and thrown into prison. Later on, it's going to have even more terrible consequences because you can cut off a person's chip. Everything's going to be chipped. Your new cards are chipped. You eventually will be chipped. That's where this is going. That's the end game. That's how they will have 100% complete control. And people are going to beg for it because of the way it's going to be presented. It's going to be presented that we can make your life easier, make your life better. We can pretty much bring, cr bring crime to zero. Because everything, every device, your car, your home, everything, every device um, will be recording in real time, speech and sight. So can you imagine? Man, no more murders and crimes because as soon as it happens, you know who did it and where. It's, it's amazing what this technology will be able to do. And the markets have already been um, programmed with this type of information. So basically, the market now is self-correcting so that in, in periods of low to no volatility, as far as volume, things like that, open interest, the market itself is feeding on itself it is the market maker all the market makers are electronic now okay so this is where we are this is where we are and this is where we're heading down this road and all roads lead to Rome and we're gonna break this down how the debt aspect is going to be used to to roll all this out and that's what's going on right now yes why you've been hearing about you know that's why you've been really hearing about debt and interest rates interest rates is linked to debt and we're going to break down what that means in our sixth installment, All Roads Lead to Rome.